you know, it struck me that um, we all know the uncontroversial saying that history is written by the victors. Yet people who are not seemingly not dumb or perhaps greatly biased um, don't view World War II, the largest war, the single greatest propaganda, you know, event in history, by nature of it being the largest war, you know, um, yet alone other dynamics that would increase that before, even before the war, um, don't view, don't view this through that lens, that, and take every, everything that the victors say as being indisputable, and in fact, you know, to just dispute some of the narratives of the victors is, can be a crime, you know, which is hard. That's not, that doesn't bode very well for the intellectual integrity of the West and to some degree the East, uh, meaning like now Russia, I guess, but, um, That doesn't, that's a really bad sign because we know that's true, right? And the thing is, when do, when do major propaganda campaigns that are part of successful um, conflicts, when do they like decommission themselves? So, you know what? It was a really heated period of time. We were fighting these guys. It was really kind of dicey there for a while. We needed to create some propaganda because, you know, that's how that's part of winning wars, especially today, but always. And so, you know, some of that stuff we said, maybe we got a little bit out of hand. Maybe it was, maybe we made up some stuff, but it was all, you know, in the spirit of victory. And thank God we did it because we won. When do they ever do that? Never. They never decommission their propaganda. So, I mean, I just, I think that's something people should really, because in World War II is such a critical event to shaping modernity that we are experiencing today. It's really behind everything. I mean, all roads today lead back to World War II, right? They don't lead, well, it's another story about leading to Rome, but I'm not going to go there right now. But um, all roads do lead back to Rome. But nonetheless... Um, it would just be a healthy thing if people could start to look at look at World War II through the lens of, you know, to take Winston Churchill as being the origin of this quote. I mean, think about it. Think of who he is involved in this. And he's he's literally writing and wrote the kind of definitive multi-volume set on, on World War II. I mean, there's been changes since then, obviously, but that's like the critical kind of, I don't want to say masterpiece, but it's like, you know, that's the kind of the holy grail of... of um, World War II kind of canon history. Um, and he's writing it, and he's saying, and he's the victor, and he's probably one of the chief, you know, players, architects of World War II, and he's going, look, I'm literally writing this, you know. Um, so, you know what I mean? And to take information from, like, from the Stalinist Soviet Union and and stuff unquestioningly that's that's how can you even pretend to have any integrity and you take and you take uh, committees from Stal from Stalinist Soviet Union you know and you take look at the Nuremberg trials I mean the chief prosecutor British prosecutors said that it was a continuation of the war um, you know the chief Soviet prosecutor was also the prosecutor in 1936, where they marched out, you know, top former heroes of the Soviet Revolution, they said, yes, I am a traitor. And then, you know, essentially, please shoot me in the head. They said, they all said, okay. That's the same guy at Nuremberg. I mean, um, so we need to reevaluate these things. And I just, I just think that one line about history is written by the victors. We can all agree on that, I think. Most people, most reasonable people can so then start to analyze things through that. That doesn't mean everything the victors say is wrong, but it means that there's an, an inherent, powerful bias. There is tons of propaganda that is not decommissioned, right? 
and that's all at play. And if you and to ignore those realities is to be is to be intellectually dishonest or just willfully ignorant. 